Hello, I'm Kent Morris with Sweetwater, and today we're going to look at the new PV Arius Digital Mixer. If you've been in the audio industry any time, you've probably had your hands on a PV mixer at some point, whether it was the classic Mark IV, an SRC console, or the innovative Sanctuary series, PV's been building mixers for 55 years. And Hartley PV wanted the new Arius to be easy to use and compact. So if we look at the form factor, we notice immediately that we have a number of controls. For instance, there are a total of 59 controls on this small mixer. But it's very easy to use because the large 10-inch multi-touch screen allows us to be able to do multiple things at once, and we have the ability to go anywhere we want in one touch. If we start with the home screen and simply press the home button, we're immediately taken to the first eight inputs. Now there are 16 XLR inputs on here that are combi jacks with XLR and quarter inch TRS. But there are also three sets of stereo inputs plus Bluetooth and USB. We also have AES on the output along with left right on XLRs plus eight buses on XLRs. Immediately we see we have a number of inputs, number of outputs. Let's dive in. Each input has the ability to give us a simple or a complex control. So all I did there was simply push the highlighted area of that first channel and immediately I'm brought to the channel itself. I can go back to the home screen, I can select a different channel, anywhere that I move is one touch away. I can instantly go to my second layer or my third layer and I'm able to see everything at once. If I want to dive in deeper by pushing this control, I'm brought up in this particular channel to the EQ screen. We have a four band fully parametric equalizer, so we're able to control not just level and frequency, but the Q, that is the bandwidth, how wide or narrow we're dealing with. And I can do this with my finger, I can do this with the local control, or I can touch it and then turn the parameter control knob. So any way that I want to do it, it allows me to achieve that goal. In addition to that, when I go back to my home screen, I can see all my metering, I can color code and label and name everything. One unique feature of this compact console is the inclusion of four DCAs. Now a DCA is an interesting beast because in large format consoles, what it allows us to do is to essentially remote control a number of inputs. It's different than a group. A group is actually controlling audio, while a DCA, digitally controlled amplifier, is using a remote aspect of that. So we have four DCAs here, and in this particular setup, we've chosen to give our four DCAs to the drums, the guitars, the keys, and the vocals. So by simply adjusting this one fader, I'm controlling all of the drum mics on their output. This allows us to be able to have what we call a volunteer-friendly environment. That is, if I have someone who regularly runs sound at the club or the church, and they're out, I can take anyone who's just basically familiar with the sound, put them in front of this desk, and give them these four controls, and they'll get through the show. In addition to that, we have a full set of dual engine FX controllers. So the FX controllers allow us to be able to do something simple. We can do something complex. We can get in and do any parameter control change that we want to, or we can keep it simple and move back to the simple control, and it gives us two or three parameters for instance, with reverb, it might be the depth of the reverb or the length of the reverb. We also have full tap control over tap delays, anything like that. And if I get to this point and I can't find my way out, I simply hit the home button and there I am. Now, connectivity is important in a digital console because in an analog console, we're always dealing with a WYSIWYG environment. That is, what you see is what you get. If I have a large format analog desk and I have channel 17 aux 3, that one control does nothing its entire life but control aux 3 on channel 17. Digital consoles are not like that. We have to be able to have one control do many things. It does make the compact console possible, but it can be confusing. To that end, we need to be able to find where we are quickly. And one of the easiest things to do is to add a second display. Now, if we were to add a second dedicated display, it would be rather expensive. So PV, along with a number of other manufacturers, have utilized iOS devices such as iPads to be able to extend the control surface. And the same thing applies here. So in the slot, we have an iPad, and it's independent of what I'm doing on this main screen. So if here, if I'm working on channels one through eight, up here I can be on nine through 16, I can go to my stereo inputs, to my DCAs, to my effects, anywhere that I wanna be, and have that independently controlled. The unique aspect of this mixer is that instead of using an app 
to log in and to be able to control from an iPad. We're using HTML5, which means there's not an app. Simply type in the IP address and it pops up once we hit the password. This allows us to be able to use almost any device and not worry about if we're up to date on our firmware. In addition to that, we can not only control the main mixer, but we can have 10 devices connected to be able to control individual mixes. So if we have a drummer on mix one, bus one, that drummer can use their phone if they want to and simply go in and now password controlled, they are able to adjust their mix without bothering the front of house engineer. So if we look at the number of inputs and outputs, again, we have 16 XLRNs that are combi jacks. We have an additional three stereo quarter inch connections. We have RCA connection and we have Bluetooth. And the Bluetooth allows us to be able to connect for a playback or anything of that nature. In addition to all of those ins and outs, we have USB. We have USB input here to be able to play back. And if I go here, I bring up a playback and record control. And on the back, I'm able to give the output, which is perfect for live streaming. So a number of churches, for instance, and venues where we're not able to meet in person, live streaming has become the way that we make this happen. The RES allows us to be able to do that. And now let's look at the mute control because we need to be able to sometimes mute not one or two channels, but six or eight channels, especially if we're not having vocalists on a particular song and we want to mute all the vocal mics. Off on a digital console, it's hard to be able to find out how do we get to the mutes. Here it's very simple. If I want to mute these first three channels here and I pull them up, I simply hit the mutes and I push and hold one and immediately group one has changed and now that is my mute group. And I say, well, I don't want those muted anymore. We simply turn them off press and hold one, and they're back like they were. It's just that simple. So we have three mute groups here. We can go directly to the effects processing for a mute, and we can have an all mute, which is a panic switch, which turns everything off in case it gets to be a really bad day. On any mixer, it's really important to know where you are level-wise. That is, am I too hot? Am I too soft? Where am I? And so we want to look at metering. There's a separate section here for metering, which brings up the entire console's metering section at once and we can perhaps leave metering up here so if I want to put all my meters up here and stay mixing down here I can just glance at my iPad and see where I am. In addition to that there are a number of presets because sometimes we may not know exactly what we want the kick drum to sound like we just know we want it to be a kick drum and so we can bring in presets of various types of kick drum settings until we find the one that's close to what we want to do and perhaps we'll do a little tweaking ourselves to get it exactly where we want it to be. So overall if we look at the Arius mixer, what we have is a compact, rack-mountable, digital mixing console that is one button away from wherever you want to be. For more information on the PVRS digital mixing console, be sure to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. I'm Kent Morris. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And for more videos like this, be sure to click here. And be sure to start at Sweetwater for all your music instruments and pro audio needs.